Hi, Sarah. Hi, well, Biggie. Welcome to our yard. I've got lots and lots of interesting questions for you, all about Strangles Awareness Week. Yes, I'm really pleased to be here. I've got loads of great girls that do this and care for my horses lots, so I'm going to show you today, and I haven't done it for um, a few years, so we're going to try and help give other people some confidence of how to do it as well. And Swiss Roll here is our model. So, Sarah, why is it important for us to be taking our horses' temperature? Um, I think most horse owners generally only take their horse's temperature when their horse is unwell or under instruction from a vet. But actually knowing your horse's normal healthy temperature um, can be really, really helpful. So on return from events or on arrival to a new yard, if you know what your horse's normal temperature is, if you suddenly see a spike, that could give you a really vital clue um, that maybe your horse is unwell. Um, and with infectious diseases such as strangles, um, the horses can actually spike in temperature one to two days before they become infectious. Okay. So we could actually put the horse into quarantine um, and that could be the difference between there being an actual single case, an isolated case or an actual outbreak of strangles. Are we ready? I think so, yep. Right. Let's, um, let's crack on. Let's, for safety reasons, I think it's wise to have a head collar on and someone hold them for you. That's a good boy. Yes, back, absolutely. Back. For the first few times that you do it, having someone hold is really useful because you can actually, the person holding the horse can see the horse's facial expression um, and sometimes they can show really subtle signs of stress, um, like a tight chin um, and a bit of facial tension. Um, and obviously when you're working at the back end of the horse, you can't see that. So having your handler there um, is quite useful because if they start to see that, they can let you know. And what do you feel, Sarah, looking at him, of whether he's, a, he's relaxed enough for this or are there any signs there that worry you? No, not really at all. He looks quite, um, quite calm. Um, but what I think is always really nice, if you're doing this um, for the first time um, or you're not sure whether they've ever had um, the temperature taken before, to make it a really positive experience is to give them something they really like. Um, so it can be something as simple as a hay net um, with a scratch um, or you could use well, some food. actually, yes, some food and treats. And you've <laughs> come along with some um, a lick here that... Um, Swiss Roll has already sampled actually because you can tell it on his nose. <laughs> Most horses are fine about having their temperatures taken, aren't they? So it's, it could be more that we're worried, but obviously some might be young horses or not handled that much, aren't they? So Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, this like acts as a good distraction. Um, and also what it does is it creates a really positive association. So if every time you um, take his temperature, you give him something he really likes, um, you're going to make that something that he really looks forward to. <laughs> so I'm going to go up to his back end. And I just think it's very important when you come and, and do this that you just want to be in contact with your horse. So he, all, he or she at all times knows where you are around his body. So you have don't go from having no contact to suddenly picking up his tail and shoving something up his bottom which might make him jumpy or make him be nervous. If he starts to sort of fidget around, maybe swing his back end in towards you um, or he starts to, um, his, his respiration rate might even go up. Um, and he may actually stop licking the treat as well if he gets really quite anxious about what you're doing. So yeah, they're all signs um, that he wouldn't be happy. And then obviously we would want to stop. Uh, we wouldn't want to proceed um, because obviously what we don't want to do is create a, um, a bad response from the horse. Um, but you can see that Swiss is very calm. He's very relaxed. He's really enjoying his lick. So I think um, we're good to go. You definitely don't want to stand direct behind just so that you're obviously not straight in the firing line. It's definitely a safer, safer place to be, to be able to put your hands down, pull the tail to the side and just confidently insert your thermometer and turn to your horse's head as well. You can tell so much from their, their temperament or their mannerisms, can't you, of just being able to see their face and their eyes. So, and that's why sometimes having a handler when you're doing this is actually quite handy because the handler can see um, the horse's head even if you can't um, but as you can see Swiss is really not that bothered about what you're doing I don't think we've had any change in facial expression he's just enjoying his lick it always seems forever when we're waiting for that beep doesn't it and so don't panic because they, they can vary can't they between sort of 30 and 40 seconds and exactly and I haven't done this for a long time so um, as I was saying to you earlier I've got 
great girls, there we go, we've got the beep. And having done it already this morning, 37.8. I thought good. it was going on forever and thought the thermometer had broken, but no, just be patient and give it those few more seconds. Anyway, that's all good, good boy. From Sarah, Swiss Roll and myself, I wish you luck taking your horse's temperature for the first time. So get online and follow the Temp Check Challenge, follow Piggy's Tips and stay safe. Thank you.